Is there an update on the golden visas for both Spain and Portugal? Well, actually, it's been, um, as many of you may know, it's been um, quite a hectic time over the past couple of months on investment migration. Um, so basically, right now, in terms of uh, of Portugal, we have um, the the changes to the Portuguese golden visa that at one point or the other is going to is going to close. Uh, it's going to be replaced by the D two entrepreneur visa once the bill is passed through Parliament. In the new law, uh, it is pro promulgated. Uh, for now, the important thing is that the Portuguese Golden Visa will remain open for new applications uh, that are submitted until the new legislation is published, which means, which means that there's no retroactivity or anything like that. So my recommendation is that for those um, for those advisors, for those um, clients that are interested in applying for the Portuguese Golden Visa, this is your time to get things going because the program is going to change. It's not going to look like we know it today. Um, in terms of Spain, um, there has also been on the news for the past week that uh, the ministries are looking to revise or update uh, mostly everything that relates to the um, real estate route. However, that it is something which remains the very low priority for the for the Spanish government. Um, and in terms of uh, everything that is to be with um, real estate and hiking prices, etc., you have to take into consideration that basically just to give you a number on the applications for golden visas in 2022 that were supported by real estate, only 0 0.13, sorry, 14% of the global total were used, were properties used for applying for a golden visa. So the market, the impact uh, that this can have, it is minimal. Uh, the Spanish real estate market, as we all know, it is um, it is a local market. It is not necessarily an international market, apart from, you know, the Balearics and certain areas, um, which then it is European. And then you, so you have some uh, investors from abroad. So we have to see, we have to wait and see for these changes. These changes, they need to go, if they happen, they need to go through parliamentary route, which this will take months uh, for it to, to happen. So we are monitoring the ground very close. There's no changes in, uh, in Spain. If there are, they are not going to be applied retroactively. And um, basically, it's not going to touch the other uh, investment routes, uh, which are the 1 million euros in funds or term deposits or the 2 million euros in Spanish government bonds. That's, to be honest with you, almost no one does because for obvious financial reasons and, uh, and minimum investment threshold. Okay, th thanks for that. So I guess probably the quick takeaway really is if someone is thinking about it, you want to move quickly. Correct. That is yeah. what I say yeah. to all my clients. It is make a uh, constant action. In the case of Portugal, constant and massive action. Just basically go for it. In the case of Spain, it is just like start getting things going. Um, because I don't know, perhaps next year we have a minimum threshold of one million. Who knows? Um, and if you want to get in, just basically get in now. Um, and that is the, the best way and the best uh, advice that, that we have to give in the current situation. Okay. Thanks a lot for that. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.